here we have a question Pekinham Limited and today again we are going to do income statement for manufacturing business. Pekinham Limited has a financial year ends on 30th April each year and the manufacturing account showed the following. They have already made the manufacturing account and they expect us now to make what income statement. Now as you can see manufacturing account is already there for 30th April 2010. Opening inventory was raw material was this at the start of the year then they purchased the raw material then some of the raw material is left over and we are not going to dispose of it instead we are going to use it in the next set accounting year. So this is basically known as cost of raw material consumed should also write the label cost of raw material consumed after raw material we have direct labor and if we add up all of the direct cost then it's known as a prime cost. Then we have some factory overheads, overheads or indirect cost. Finally, uh, factory has charged markup of this much amount. And this is final value is 483,000. And this is the price that the factory has charged from its outlet. Okay, 483,000. So during the year, some other information is also given. What do we are uh, supposed to do better? We need to prepare the income statement of this business. So how can we prepare the income statement? We'll be starting with the revenue that is sales and after sales would come cost of sales. If we don't have any sales return, uh, then we have opening inventory. If you remember better in the manufacturing account, we always use opening and closing for raw material and work in progress if there is any. But in this question, there is no work in progress. But in the income statement, while we are making the income statement, that relates to the outlet we are only concerned with finished goods inventory okay so opening inventory would be for finished goods and it must be on the transfer price we discussed transfer price in the previous class transfer price is the price that factory is going to charge the outlet okay so the price that factory is charging the outlet uh, we have opening inventory then we need to add transfer value of finished goods transfer value or market value of finished goods is the same and we have already been provided with this value uh, in the manufacturing account that is 483,000 opening at transfer value then we need to deduct closing inventory again it would also be for the finished goods and it must also be on the transfer price opening at transfer value or purchase then less closing would be cost of sales and if we deduct cost of sale from the revenue, we are going to get gross profit. After gross profit, there are expenses. Instead of writing expenses here, we are going to write non-manufacturing overheads. Non-manufacturing beta or non-production overhead are overhead that belongs to the outlet and not the factory. And finally, the profit that we are going to get would be profit from trading. Profit from trading beta is basically the profit of outlet let us see how much revenue do we have in note number one where it's mentioned that sales were 602,000 this year so we are going to write revenue as 602,000 then we have opening and closing inventory beta opening inventory uh, the problem is that we are only being provided opening and closing for raw material here and let us see do we have opening and closing of finished goods no, uh, I cannot find opening and closing inventory of finished goods, but there is some information through which we can deduce the value of opening and closing inventory. And how can we find that? We need to uh, uh, learn about uh, read uh, note number four. Pekinam Limited maintains a provision for unrealized profit account. We also learned how to make PUP account in the uh, previous class, and I'm going to make some more today as well. The balance on this account was 4500 on 1st May 2009, that is the opening, and 4800 on 30 April 2010. So this means, beta, we had opening uh, unrealized profit as 4500 and closing unrealized profit was how much? 4800. And the rate of factory profit remained constant during the year. So normally, uh, what happens that opening and closing inventory with a, a transfer price or cost price is given and if the cost price is given we are going to apply the markup percentage in order to find this unrealized profit and if the transfer price is given instead of cost price 
then we are going to apply margin percentage in order to find this unrealized profit but in this case uh, transfer price uh, or cost price is not given but instead we are being provided the unrealized profit itself okay if unrealized profit is given and if we know the markup or margin percentage we can reverse work and we can do the reverse working and then we need to find the uh, cost or transfer price of inventory and how can we do that better let me give you uh, an example uh, there is an equation if we know the cost of the inventory uh, you must remember better that on the cost price we are going to apply markup percentage if we are applying markup percentage on the cost price we can get uh, unrealized profit of the factory this is the equation beta cost multiplied by markup percentage is equal to profit and what happens sir if we want to find the cost if you want to find the cost in this equation and if you are already being provided with unrealized profit and markup percentage we can easily do that uh, by rearranging that and applying simple math if we want to find this cost the percentage the markup percentage that is being multiplied would needs to be divided okay so what we need to do in order to find this cost price we need to divide the unrealized profit that we are being provided with the markup percentage now the question here arises sir uh, do we have the markup percentage no uh, actually markup percentage is also not given but we can find this with the help of this information uh, with the help of this manufacturing account but as you can see the factory has charged how much profit this year factory has charged profit of 63000 this year and what is the cost uh, of the factory beta uh, the cost price of the factory is 420000 so if factory is charging a profit of 63000 on the cost of the factory 420000 then what would be the percentage if we need to find out what we need to do beta we need to uh, divide the factory profit with the cost price of the factory in order to find this markup percentage and now markup percentage is what it's 15 percent okay so better if we apply 15 1 5 15 percent to the cost of the factory we are going to get the factory profit okay so now we are sure that factory has charged 15 percent profit this year what do we need to do better we already have opening and closing profit and the profit in opening inventory is how much it is 4500 so better if this 4500 profit is actually 15 percent on the cost g okay so better if this 4500 profit is 15 percent so what is the original cost so better the cost is 30000 okay if 4500 beta is 15 percent then the cost price must be 30,000 so beta if the factory cost of this opening inventory was 30,000 and factory charge how much profit this year 4500 if we add the cost and profit then we are going to get what we are going to get the transfer price so beta in other words uh, the goods that outlet had at start of the year uh, actually cost the factory to make them 30,000 and the factory charge 15% markup on that cost that is 4,500 and actually these goods were sent to the outlet for how much price 34,500 and this is basically the transfer price of the opening inventory then we need to add transfer value uh, that the goods that we have bought this year and as we can see the total value of the goods that we have bought this year from factory is how much 483,000 it's already given so what about the closing inventory beta closing inventory is not given but the profit is given that is 4800 and if the closing inventory profit uh, factory profit in the closing inventory is 4800 beta and if, if this 4800 is how much percent if it's 15 percent if we divide 4800 by 15 percent we are going to get the cost of the factory that is 32,000 and we have also uh, uh, learned in the previous class that an income statement whenever we make income statement we are going to record not the cost but the transfer value so beta and now beta we have 
closing inventory of 36,800. So this is basically the transfer price. So beta, normally in questions, we are being given the cost or transfer price and we are going to uh, find the unrealized profit. Okay, but in this question, it's uh, the other way around. We are all, uh, already provided with a, a profit in the opening and closing inventory and we need to find the cost first and then the transfer price by adding up the cost and the profit in order to find this transfer price of the inventory. So with the opening, then we need to add transfer value, then closing, it would become cost of sale. So better we are making the income statement now for the outlet. Uh, for example, the example we discussed previously was the Apple store. So the iPhones that we sold this year from the store, Apple store was 602,000. And that iPhones cost the Apple store how much? 480,700. And the difference between the two beta would be the gross profit of the Apple store. Now, are there any expenses to run the Apple store as well? Yes. And what uh, they can be? Any expenses that are not relating to manufacturing or producing the iPhones would come in here. For example, sir, selling an admin cost would be charged to where? Income statement. And how much are they, beta? They are 39,000. Selling an admin cost. We are going to write selling an admin. Then we have rent and rate as well. And let us see there is a adjustment in rent and rate as well. If we can read note number two. In note number two, beta, the examiner mentions that rent and rate are allocated. Means we need to divide the rent and rate on the basis of what? Floor area. Okay, we need to divide on the basis of floor area. This is the same adjustment that you read uh, previously in the departmental accounts topic. Factory is occupying how much square meter? 100 square meters, beta, and office and showroom has occupied how much? 150. So out of the total, 250 square meter that uh, is our total setup uh, 100 square meter belongs to the factory and 150 belongs to showroom and office so beta if we are already given the total rent and rate we can equally divide the total rent and rate between factory that is manufacturing account and the income statement on these basis but the problem here is that that we aren't being provided with the total amount of rent and rate instead we are just being provided with the uh, factory share why because in a manufacturing account beta we always have factory share and not the outlet share so if the factory share is this we need to find the total or we need to find the share of outlet so beta, how can we do that it is also a bit tricky let us see we are going to apply some math here beta if the total rent is given how can we find the factory share but a factory share is 100 upon 250 now, what is this 100 upon 250 beta? 100 is the floor area of the factory and 150 is for the outlet. That is office and showroom. So we need to add up both of these and it will be 250. So out of this beta 250, 100 square meter belongs to factory. So 100 upon 250 beta, it would be a, a percentage if you can find out. And percentage is basically 0.4 or 40%. So this means beta, out of the total rent that is 100%, 40% rent belongs to what? Belongs to the factory. So beta, if we are being provided with the total rent that is 100% of the rent, the total rent uh, would be apportioned in the portion of 40% should be which share? It would be the factory share. Beta, if we aren't being provided with the total rent, but we are aware of the factory share and we know that factory share is 40%, can we find the total 100%? Yes. How can we do that beta? Uh, so the percentage that is being multiplied with the total rent would be rearranged and it would be divided with the factory share. Now beta, the factory share of rent is how much? The rent and rate that has been charged to the factory is 20%, sorry, 20,000. And this 20,000 is how much percentage beta? It's 40%. So beta, if 20,000 rent is 40%, then how much would be the total rent? 20,000 divided by 40%, it would be a 50,000 total rent. So beta, now if we are already aware of the total rent, uh, that includes factory and office both, if we uh, if 40% belongs to the factory, then the remaining 60% beta would belong to what? Remaining 60% would belong to the office, okay, or outlet. 
so we can apply 50,000 multiplied by 60% or we can also do that 150 upon 250 and what is 150 upon 250 beta? out of the total square meter that that is 250 150 belongs to outlet okay so it would also be a uh, 60 percent so 60 percent of 50,000 would be 30,000 and we can also do that if we uh, can find the total that is 50,000 if we deduct the factory share that is 20,000 from the total rent 50,000 minus 20,000 would becomes the rent of what rent of uh, factory sorry rent of the outlet because factory share was already given so let us see beta what other expenses do we need to charge to the outlet secondly beta do we need to charge electricity now how is electricity being apportioned beta electricity is uh, apportioned on the basis of usage and 80 percent is electricity is used by what factory so beta out of the 100 percent electricity if 80 percent is being used by factory then the remaining 20 percent must be used by outlet so uh, instead of providing the total electricity uh, we are only being given the 80 percent electricity bill that is being uh, borne by factory so if this 72,000 beta is 80 percent can we find the remaining 20 percent yes so what we are going to do beta we need to divide the 72,000 with the 80 percent okay if 72,000 is the factory share and that is 80 percent so what is the total beta total is 90,000 so now we can uh, apply 20 percent of 90,000 or we can also do that if we uh, can find the difference between 90 and 72 so the remaining portion of the electricity would be used by what would be used by outlet so then beta we have one more expense that is selling an admin and it's already given here selling an admin always belong to the outlet and not the factory okay so if we add up all of the outlets expenses these are 87,000 and uh, the expenses to run the Apple store is 87,000 and this Apple store has earned how much uh, gross profit by selling iPhones or iPads 121,300 now this is the profit from outlet but the question here arises sir uh, do only outlet has the right to uh, earn profit or factory is also earning some profit yes so uh, beta factory is also earning profit and now what we need to do beta we need to add the factory profit here and we studied in the previous questions as well that the factory profit that we are going to take in the income statement would not be the profit that is given in the manufacturing account instead we need to adjust it with unrealized profit as well so what was the unrealized profit let me revise uh, for you guys unrealized profit means beta that factory has sold the goods to the outlet but outlet has uh, been unable to sell those goods to the outside customers okay because the goods are still with the outlet and these goods have not yet been sold so the goods that have not yet been sold uh, the profit on that goods that was charged by the factory originally would not be termed as realized profit for factory why because this, these goods are not yet sold to the outsiders so how can we calculate the realized profit beta we can start with the factory profit that has been charged this year and that is 63,000 and this needs to be adjusted with the opening and closing unrealized profit that belongs to the inventory now uh, do we already have opening and closing unrealized profit yes fortunately it's already given here in the question as you can see in note number four so with the opening inventory unrealized profit is 4500 and closing inventory unrealized profit is 4800 now as you can see unrealized profit is increasing from 45 to 48 but if unrealized profit is increasing by 300 therefore the realized profit has been decreased okay so what we need to do we need to deduct the difference between the two 300 from this total factory profit that out of this 63,000 profit beta, if 300 is unrealized, therefore this much profit is realized. Okay. So if I can say that I have earned 63,000 uh, rupees this uh, month, and out of that, I suspect that this 300 income is not uh, maybe uh, good for me, or maybe it's not halal. So out if I deduct the haram income, then uh, I'm left with the halal income. Okay. So this is basically the realized profit 
that the factory has earned. So if the pro uh, unrealized profit is increasing here, why? Because as you can see, inventory is increased during the year. So what happens, sir, if inventory decreased during the year, if the inventory is decreasing better during the year, then it must be the decrease in unrealized profit. So beta if with unrealized profit is being decreased, so therefore the realized profit must have been increased. So in that case, we are going to add up that because some old inventory that we had at the start of the year, we also sold some of that inventory. So therefore our realized profit would increase. So factory, uh, Apple factory has earned this much profit uh, in this year and the factory, uh, sorry, the Apple store has earned this much profit. If we add up both of these, then we are going to get better overall profit for the Apple Corporation. Okay, so this is the overall profit of the uh, company. So this is the profit and uh, although we are not required to make provision account provision for unrealized profit account in this question, but I'm just making uh, to make sure that uh, we can practice and you can get the concept better. So better provision is always credit in nature as we have uh, studied previously provision is a contra asset then the balance brought down must always come on the credit side beta if opening balance is coming on the credit side then the closing balance must come on the debit side so sometime beta in the previous questions as you can see as well uh, examiner ask us to prepare this provision account so whenever beta we are uh, supposed to make this provision account uh, so opening balance would always be on credit and closing balance would be on the debit so beta whenever factory is charging profit this year as we can see factory has charged how much profit 63,000 63,000 is being added in the manufacturing account in order to find this transfer value transfer value of finished goods so if manufacturing account is increasing the entry would be manufacturing account debit and provision account beta would be credit so we are crediting the provision account because this profit is right now unrealized and beta as you may be aware that provision is credit in nature so whenever we are going to decrease this provision uh, it would be debited and this would be uh, transferred to where income statement and this is basically the realized profit so as you can see beta in note number four it's uh, clearly mentioned at start of the year we had provision of how much unrealized profit of 4500 at the end of the year it was 4800 so we need to write opening and closing directly so sometimes this opening and closing unrealized profit is not given instead the examiner gives you uh, finished goods inventory okay so if the finished goods inventory is given as the cost so then we are going to apply the markup percentage and in that case uh, in this question we have calculated markup by reverse working and that is 15 percent and if the examiner has not given you the cost price then the examiner must give you the transfer price so beta if we have the transfer price then we, we do need margin percentage and not the markup percentage so beta markup percentage is applied on the cost of the inventory uh, and margin percentage is being applied on the transfer price so the factory profit beta how much factory profit has factory charge this year factory has charged a profit of 63000 this year so finally beta we are going to find this a realized profit that we have already uh, found out with a uh, shortcut working so we need to add the bigger side but a bigger side as you can see is the credit side and the bigger side would come on both of the sides and the shorter side would be income statement and this is better basically profit that has been realized this is the realized profit as you can see realized profit is the same 62,700 and 62,700 okay beta we are done with preparing uh, income statement and uh, unrealized profit account although it was not given in this question but sometime it's given so in this question we also have one more requirement and that is uh, we need to calculate the value of inventory to be included in the balance sheet but uh, if we talk about statement of financial position of a manufacturing account basically sofp is the same as we make uh, normally in the sole trader the only difference that we do have in the SOFP of a manufacturing setup is that we have three types of inventory here. We have raw material inventory, beta, we have work in progress inventory and we have finished goods inventory as well. So instead of making the entire SOFP, most of the time in the manufacturing account question examiner just ask us to make SOFP extract. And this question as you can see as well, 
uh, we are only being asked for a four mark requirement we need to uh, tell that what uh, value of inventory should be included in the balance sheet now as you may be aware that better inventory is current asset so we are going to start with current asset and we can write inventory basically there are three types of inventory raw material work in progress or finished goods let us see uh, what closing inventory for raw material do we have better raw material closing inventory is given here in the manufacturing account and it is how much it is 18000 uh, and there is also one more inventory that is work in progress but in this question as you can see work in progress is not given work in progress is generally uh, adjusted at the end uh, before calculating profit uh, it's not given and finally beta beta the third type of inventory that we do have is we have finished goods inventory uh, and only uh, adjustment that we need to do we need to do it in the finished goods inventory but uh, first of all we are going to write finished goods inventory at what value we are going to write finished goods inventory in the transfer price and not the cost price first of all we are going to write the closing inventory as transfer price and we have already uh, calculated the closing inventory while preparing income statement and that is 36800 but the problem is that uh, uh, there is uh, one profit that is being added in this inventory and that profit it's already given in note number 4 as you can see closing inventory beta unrealized profit is how much 4800 uh but uh, the thing is that this inventory has not yet been sold by the outlet and these goods are still with the outlet and these are unsold goods but uh, if uh, one uh, item of the inventory is not sold we cannot book the profit on that inventory and there is an accounting concept that we have studied previously and that is prudence concept okay prudence says but uh, the profit and assets shall not be overstated okay prudence says that the profit and asset shall not be overstated so if we are uh, recording profit earlier than we have sold the goods then it will be violation of prudence so what are we going to do beta we need to deduct the unrealized profit from this value and what is the provision it's already given such as 4800 so these goods basically cost factory how much 32000 so beta uh, prudence concept says that if inventory is not sold we cannot book the profit earlier although if there is a loss on the inventory we can book that loss immediately on the expectation basis and we do not need to wait the loss to actually materialize but if there is a profit the profit cannot be recorded earlier then we have earned the profit and if we are going to do so that would be against prudence and prudence also says that inventory value should also not be overstated okay if we are uh, recording inventory add more than its cost then it would also be against the prudence so we need to add up both of these inventory so the only difference beta in the sofp of uh, this uh, manufacturing account sofp is the closing inventory and there are three types of inventory raw material work in progress and finished goods and in finished goods uh, first we need to write the inventory in the transfer price and then we need to deduct the unrealized profit in order to find the cost in order to find the cost